Oh, hallelujah, someone. Praise the name of the living God. We thank God so much for this particular moment. We thank God for this encounter. And you want to connect with us wherever you are watching me from, from Europe, from Asia, from all parts of Africa, from Australia, from North America, and from South America. You want to connect with us? Tell a friend to tell a friend. Let them know that the hour has come. It is time for us to pray along. And we are believing God for a lot of miracles and a lot of testimonies. In the name of our Lord Jesus, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like. Also leave your comment and share for your friends who do not have access to this channel. Who also have access to the channel. And I believe and I trust God that your life will never be the same again. Amen and Amen. Alright, so today we are going to deal with a very important prayer topic. And we want to take our scripture reading from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 15 and about verse 58. I am reading from um, the King James Version. But Paul wrote, he said, Therefore, my brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Then when we go to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 to about verse 13, he said that we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death worked in us, but life in you. We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore we speak. Amen and Amen. We want to draw much more on um, the, the initial verses that we quoted. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord. For ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. We are going to pray for our brethren that are going through challenges and persecutions and all forms of persuasions because of the gospel. We are going to pray for them that they stand, they, they stand fast. But our Paul said that do not be shaken. Do not be un, do not be movable. In other words, unmovable, unshakable. Stand fast in the faith. We want to lift up our voice this particular moment. We want to pray for our brethren that are going through certain kind of challenges, certain kind of difficulties, certain forms of persecutions and persuasions for the sake of the gospel. We want to pray for them that they stand fast. You know, this faith at times you challenges hit you in a way that if you are not careful, you will leave the faith. But I want to lift our voice and pray for our brethren. Pray for our brothers and sisters who are watching us, who are home, who don't even know what is going on. That may the good Lord help them, strengthen them, empower them. Let them be able to stand fast in this particular faith. In the name of our Lord Jesus, the Son of the living God. We want to pray for them. That let them be comforted in the faith. And let their inner man be strengthened. Brother Paul said that I pray for you. That your inner man may be strengthened. We want to pray for all our brethren who are going through difficulties. Our brethren are going through challenges. In the name of our Lord Jesus. That may the good Lord strengthen and empower them. In the name of Jesus. We are praying that let them stand firm in the faith. In the name of our Lord Jesus. And above all, may their inner man be strengthened. In the name of our Lord Jesus. The name that is above every other name. Jesus, the Son of the living God. Lift up your voice somebody and begin to pray that prayer. Begin to pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray that prayer wherever you are watching me from. Begin to pray that prayer. Ligra pala madosa diza, raka pam teni mi anto, malika pam dalagada, raka pam tali yaka pam dalaga pam dalagada, ison teni mi an tana gabosa pam dalala, ayam tali gabam deligra pala madosa pala gada, raka tana nama diam telelele madosa pa, asun teni mi an tana nama madosa pam dalala. Pray that prayer. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Hey madini mi kupam tala madiza yaya. Aram to lay my cosa pe matisa ti malosa in matini mi cupanda nene mesa ti capa Aracapam tania palapala capam tala capa Racapala vala capam telia capam telele Racapam telia capam telala la bantala capala gada Aracapala gadiam teleca palacada that they will stand fast in the faith capam telia capa Aracapam telia capam telia capa Racapam telia capam telala that they will have the understanding the antosa pandela 
Yeah. That their labor in the Lord will never be in vain. Around the Mesa, Dianto, Malaysia, we pray for them. That their inner man may be strengthened. Iman to Shape. Our brothers and sisters who are in the villages, Kapam, Delianta, going through persecution, we pray for them. And Teneme to Palakata, that they be strengthened with might in the inner man. And to Mato Shatianta. Eka panta, ayan talaga bala bala ka talaga ba? Iraka bali am talalele madi am tenana. Our Christian brothers and sisters who are in Iraq, iran talaga banda. In Afghanistan, di madi am to shabanda na na. In the Islamic world, dalama dalami am teni am tala. We are facing persecution, katan dene ne. We are facing challenges, di madi to shadeya. We pray for them, malum mali am tenaga. That they will stand fast in the faith. Am pano mali am tene ne me du shadeya. We pray for them, that their inner man may be strengthened. That they will stand fast. But brother Paul said the other day, they are being steadfast. They are being steadfast. We are praying for all over, over the world we are praying for everybody in the world that is going to challenge our Christian brothers and sisters that are going to challenges and pain and hardship and difficulties we are praying for them that they may be strengthened in the inner man in the name of Jesus oh in the name of Jesus Abba Father, we thank you. Father, we pray for our Christian brothers and sisters who are going through challenges that they will stand fast. They never give up. In the name of our Lord Jesus, I pray that may their inner man be strengthened. In the name of Jesus, and may your will be done in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved, God bless you for watching. You know, keep the faith. Continue to pray for our brothers and sisters because it is not easy. It is not easy. When, when you look at the challenges that you are facing, at times you may be tempted to leave the faith. You may be tempted to, to go back to the world. You know, the other day, Brother Paul said that Demas has forsaken me. The guy has forsaken me because he loved the things of the world. We got to a time whereby things were difficult. And so Demas went chasing the things of the world. Brothers and sisters, we need to pray for our, 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 our loved ones and our friends and our families who are going through challenges and difficulties. The good Lord be with you and the good Lord bless you. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to also comment. Leave your comment. If there is any prayer topic you want us to help you pray about, drop it at the comment section and let us help you pray about it. The good Lord be with you in Jesus' name. Amen.